All right, first thing you gotta do is take the wheel off, obviously, and then we gotta get the brake caliper off. So there's actually a bolt that goes right there that um, you gotta take out so that you can take the pin out. Mine, the head was broken off of, so I had to drill through it, but hopefully that's not the case for everyone. So once that's out, then you can take a hammer, and you wanna be careful, because this right here is a spring, but you can take it and So that pops out and you can see that's the direction the pin went in and then it has this spring on top of it like that. So those both have to come out. And then to take this brake caliper off, you, you might have to give it a little bit of a wiggle. Hopefully you can do it a little more gently than that. So then brake pads out. And I'm just going to set that up in a secure place up there. Okay, so now you got the brake pad out. So then, next thing to do is take the disc brake off. And you got to take this cap off here. Take that off, it of course has grease in it, and then there is this pin. Pin comes out, try and keep all that together as much as possible. Then this retainer can come out. Looks like it's got the nut on it. Just take the retainer off. And then nut comes off like that, and you're good to go with all that. And then there is the brake disc. And be careful and try not to drop the bearing out. So put my bearing back in and I'm gonna put this inside the cab. Okay next there's uh, three bolts right here that have to come off. They are a half inch. dust shield comes off and I'm putting these back in the holes they came out of just to keep everything organized so that I don't lose it. Okay, next we're going to take this bowl joint off. Cutter pin out. Right, that's a uh, 22 mil. Okay, 
leave that on just a little bit. Take your pickle fork, shove it in there, and let's break it loose. broken loose. Take the nut off. So there's two caps. There's a cap here and a cap here on the bottom um, on the, each side of the kingpin. So those are going to come off next. Obviously mine are a little bit dirty um, but I'm going to do it well the axle still in so I have something to work off of okay we're gonna have to take this um, grease fitting off try not to break it but I guess if you do it's not the end of the world because a new kingpin set will come with brand new ones of these. But, once you get that out, if you have to, if you have a deep socket, I suppose you wouldn't have to. Uh, I believe this one's 22 mil as well. Just try not to bang your knuckles up too bad. There's that one cap. There's an identical one at the bottom. I'm putting this um, grease fitting back in so I don't lose it. Okay, that's good. Now we gotta do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, so we need to take that nut and bolt off to get the I-beam out from attached to the control arm. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, I believe this should be inch and an eighth. Yep, inch and an eighth, and uh, this one's not bad. That didn't take too much. Okay, and now we have to take out two bolts up there. We're actually only going to take out one and then loosen the other one. And that should give us enough clearance to get this spring out. There's our nine sixteenths inch Alright, and then that bracket just swings out of the way. So the spring has been loosened up. And then just like that. Comes out super easy. So 
There's the spring. And then that's what the spring sits on. So the next thing is disconnecting the I-beam from the control arm. So once again, we need our inch and an eighth for right there. And then last time I was able just to use a, a pipe wrench and put it on the head of the bolt. So I think I'll be able to break this loose and then use the pipe wrench. Now that the bolt is spinning, set the pipe wrench up. Alright, got that nut off. So then, the bolt comes right out. We don't lose it. Actually, this is what I'm going to do. Now I know where that goes. Okay. Now we just have to disconnect the I-beam from that side of the frame. Alright, so that's that I-beam. That's the bolt. You can see that uh, bushing in there is completely toast. So, let's see. That is not inch and an eighth, but the other side, the head of the bolt should be. So, yep, head of the bolt is. And then I got my pipe wrench. And that is apparently one inch. Look at that. There's not even rubber in there. Holy cow. All right, there you go. Okay, then the last thing you gotta do is take this bolt out because it kind of holds that uh, kingpin in. And that is an 11 16th. See, and then you either press or hammer out those uh, kingpins, which I think I'm going to have to press mine out. Maybe not this one. This one's the one that's so terrible. You can see. Well, maybe you can't see, but there is a lot of play in that, in that bottom one. So, hopefully this one comes out pretty easily. 